Have you ever noticed fake owls placed near farms, houses, and even businesses? They seem to be everywhere. But what's the real reason we put up these fake owls? And more importantly, does it work? Across cities and farms, fake owls stand guard. But do they really keep pests away, or are they just decorations? We're about to answer this question and more, so make sure to watch until the end. But first, let's look at the science behind fake owls and other decoys. Why do people use them in the first place? Well, it's simple. Farmers, homeowners, and businesses use these decoys to scare off birds and rodents. You see, many small animals like birds, squirrels, rabbits, and raccoons regard owls as a natural predator. Because of this predator-prey instinct, many animals will avoid an area where owls live. This is because owls are expert hunters with excellent night vision and hearing. Plus, they have sharp talons and beaks, which can quickly subdue their prey. So how exactly are these fake owls and decoys supposed to work? Well, the idea is simple. Decoys rely on visual deterrence. The idea is that when a bird or small animal sees a fake owl, they think there is a real owl nearby and try to avoid it. That way, the decoy scares the animals away and keeps them from coming back. Does this actually work? Let's take a look at some field observations. In most cases, the fake owls and decoys do work. At first, most birds and small mammals will avoid the decoy, thinking it is a real owl. This is especially true for younger or less experienced animals who haven't seen a fake owl before. But after a while, they notice the decoy doesn't move, chirp, or hoot. After this realization, they start to ignore the decoy and go about their day as usual. However, there are some exceptions. Certain species of animals are smart enough to realize the danger is not real. These include crows, pigeons, and squirrels. Crows, for example, are highly intelligent birds known for their problem-solving skills and ability to recognize human-made objects as artificial. Pigeons, too, are clever creatures capable of distinguishing between real and fake objects. Squirrels, on the other hand, have keen eyesight and are quick to spot any potential threats or dangers in their environment. For these species, seeing a fake owl or decoy doesn't cause much alarm, as they quickly realize it's not a real threat. Instead, they adapt and continue with their daily activities as if nothing unusual were present. This is unfortunate for those hoping to use decoys to control pest populations. So what are some of the reasons why certain decoys fail, and is there anything we can do to improve them? One of the most common reasons decoys fail is a lack of movement. If a decoy doesn't move or appear to be alive, animals will eventually realize it's not a real owl and ignore it. For example, if a bird lands on a tree branch near a decoy and it doesn't fly away or react in any way, the bird will quickly realize it's not dealing with a real predator. To prevent this, you can try moving or rotating your decoys periodically. By changing the decoy's position or rotating it, you can create the illusion of movement, making the decoy seem more realistic. This can help keep animals from getting too comfortable and becoming accustomed to the decoy's stationary presence. Another reason decoys fail is familiarity over time. As animals become accustomed to the decoy, they lose their fear and ignore it. For example, if a squirrel sees a fake owl every day, it will eventually realize there is no danger and start treating the decoy as just another part of its surroundings. To combat this, you can change the position of the decoy regularly. By moving the decoy to a new location, you can introduce a sense of unpredictability which can help maintain the animal's fear and hesitation towards the decoy. Additionally, you can combine the decoy with other strategies such as sound effects or visual deterrence to reinforce the illusion of danger. Other factors can also affect the effectiveness of a decoy. For example, the size and design of the decoy can make a difference. A life-size decoy that looks realistic is more likely to scare off animals than a smaller or poorly made one. Decoys placed in open areas, or areas with high visibility, are also more likely to be effective than those placed in hiding spots, or areas with obstructions. So now that we know why some decoys fail, let's look at some that do succeed. There are many reports of fake owls scaring away birds and small animals. For example, one farmer reported that after placing a fake owl in his chicken coop, 
he saw a significant decrease in the number of foxes that tried to get in. Another homeowner reported that after putting up two fake owls near their bird feeders, they stopped seeing squirrels trying to steal the bird seed. Now let's take a look at some scientific studies. One study published in the Journal of Wildlife Management tested the effectiveness of various bird control devices, including fake owls. The researchers found that while fake owls were effective at first, the birds quickly became accustomed to them, and the owls lost their effectiveness over time. Another study published in the Journal of Applied Animal Welfare Science tested the effectiveness of different types of decoys, including fake owls and snakes, at repelling starlings. The researchers found that the decoys were effective at reducing the number of starlings in the treatment group compared to the control group. However, the effect was short-lived and the starlings eventually returned to their previous numbers. Overall, the evidence suggests that fake owls and decoys can work, but only temporarily. The animals eventually realize the decoy isn't real and ignore it. So are fake owls worth it? In the end, it's up to you to decide. If you're willing to invest the money and effort into setting up and maintaining decoys, they may be worth it. However, if you're looking for a long-term solution to your pest problems, you may want to consider other options. There are various deterrents available, such as sound devices, reflective surfaces, and netting. These methods may be more effective and require less maintenance than decoys. As always, we hope you enjoyed learning about fake owls and decoys with us. If you did, Please don't forget to leave a like and subscribe for more nature videos in the future. And if you have any thoughts, experiences or suggestions regarding fake owls and decoys, feel free to share them in the comments below. Who knows, maybe we'll feature your comment in a future episode. Thanks for watching. See ya.